Right, welcome, welcome again to day number three, day number three of Prayer Plus Action. My name is Ade Sobanjo and I am a pastor and a love coach. I coach men to move their marriage to the next level. What do I mean by that? I help you hit your goals in marriage and I believe that if you go along with me for this next three days and you take action on what I share, your life will be transformed. Today, we're going to talk about the heart. And in this strategy of God, the same strategy that God used to rescue and redeem us, that same strategy is what we're going to talk about to redeem and repair any marriage. And also the same strategy strategy is what god uses to transform the earth revive trans, uh, his church all of that we're going to tap into today i want to mention to you that if you are there and you are going through pain in your marriage right now if you found that you're struggling with the fact that you and your wife have hardly spoken um lovingly and caringly for each other you'll find that arguments have increased intimacy has decreased nose dived and um the words divorce separation are beginning to be thrown around even if your wife has separated from you she's living in another space or home right now this is not too difficult for god when you add prayer plus strategy and you top it up with consistency you will get a miracle oh yes you'll get some transformations so let's get to the strategy the strategy that we will be talking about last i'll go quickly go over the strategy i shared with you the love workout road map the road map you start from one point and you just keep going until you get to the other end. It's a roadmap. First, you take up yourself, your heart, get it healed. Then you take care of the source of your strength, which is connection with God, receiving supernatural help, supernatural strength to resist and to withstand and to um, be able to endure through the weakness of your spouse. And then you get to get closer to them and inspire them and connect with them and have a deeper spiritual life. That's a roadmap. But what are we trying to do with this roadmap? We're trying to climb up this pyramid, the blissful marriage pyramid. Everyone starts this, this pyramid, this, the marriage at the top of the pyramid. Most people, 90% of the people, you start at the top. Hardly any day of complaints. Every day is blissful. You are joyful. And uh, right from the honeymoon <laughs> or sometimes a week after, you find yourself sliding down slowly. And if you do not catch yourself, you will get to the point where you hardly have any time, any joy in the marriage. The joy level becomes 0 to 10% of the time, which is very hard there's hardly no hope for anyone in this space not that there's no hope of change you feel hopeless because you've been sliding down you've been trying your best you've been holding on for their life you've read books you've prayed and yet you keep sliding down and at the point you begin to wonder maybe there's no hope maybe i married the wrong person maybe i'm not meant for marriage there are people there if you're there i have good news for you there's a process there's a road map to climb back this pyramid move from the red zone to the orange zone where your joy level is now 10 to 60 percent one and a half of the time you are now joyful and peaceful you can even move beyond the orange zone to the green zone where you are mostly peaceful and joyful and then finally i want to tell you that there's a hope to move on to the blue zone there's a roadmap 
you move from a joyful heart to building a massive love tank by connecting with God. Then you rebuild, you rebuild friendship. And finally, you rebuild partnership. So if you want to move your marriage from struggling and hardly any hope to blissful and wondering how can things be so good, I want to show you the road map based on God's word, based on what God designed initially for everyone. I want to show you how to do that, especially if you've been going through pain in the last couple of weeks, months, years. I want to show you the road map. So the road map starts with your heart. If you are on a plane and uh, you have ever seen the presentation, you will see the hostess is telling you that if there's ever a drop in oxygen in the cabin, what you should do is get the, the, the oxygen mask, put it first on yourself and then help your child or anybody that is there that is they're not able to help themselves. And when I first got this, I was worried that what type of advice is this? Because I'm always the one to first think about others i want to see you uh, i believe that uh the, the the acronym joy uh when we we're growing up it was told we were told that the acronym joy stands for jesus first others next yourself last and so when it say you put on your face mask first i'm wondering am i sure i'm doing this is right but then when i thought about it a little bit more i realized that yes if you do not do that and for some reason you you faint then you and your child will die so this is not good rather if you put on the face mask and you don't faint then and maybe for some reason your child is almost fainting by the time you put it on them you can still revive them you can still help them but if you faint and uh, your child or your children are not able to put on their face back, then you will lose all of you. This is why you must start with yourself. When you are healthy, then you are, you are in the right state of mind to tap into God's power, receive God's power to change your life and your marriage. But of course, if you are doing well in your heart, we can move on to connection which is the ability to tap into God's power to change your life and your marriage. And if you're doing well there, we can just work on friendship. What The reason why a lot of people struggle in a marriage and uh, the reason why people keep sliding down this marriage pyramid is that when they discover the problems, they try to solve the symptoms, not the underlying problems. If we deal with the pain that both of you are feeling, you will be strong enough to heal and to strengthen one another. In some cases, you may not be able to deal with your wife first. You deal with your own heart. You get healed first. And when you're healed, you and then you get extra strength. That's why we have two layers. You heal, you get extra strength, then you're able to carry your, your wife or your husband, if you're a wife, through to the solution that you are trusting God for. You will climb this mountain and you will get to the blue side. It's I, it's intentionally a pyramid, number one, because that's exactly what is happening in life. Most people are hopeless in their marriage. You see, marriages break. You've, you, you must have heard the statistics that about 50% of marriages are end up in divorce. For those who are stay, that stay married, a good portion of them are struggling in the marriage and a good portion of them are hopeless in the marriage but also it's a pyramid because it is an uphill task it is challenging but it's the it's still easier than the pain so the guys that are working hard to move from yellow red to orange are working hard there's hard work involved hard emotional work involved <laughs> not physical work but the guys that are in the red are suffering more hopelessness frustration and wondering whether this is how i'm going to spend the rest of my life is way more painful than the work that you would do to move forward when you match the prayers that we prayed last week by the way if you didn't join us for the prayer time the five days of prayer make sure you don't miss them go back to my channel and find them go through the prayers with us now if you are not subscribed to my channel, 
this is a good time to do so if you've been blessed so far by what i've been sharing this is a good time to like the video if you believe that this will bless somebody this is a good time to share this all right how do we climb up this uh, pyramid like i was sharing with you you need to go through the three steps first yourself put the oxygen mats for yourself your heart then connect with god to get extra strength so that when your wife is misbehaving or your husband was doing whatever you think is misbehavior and they will do that they will do things that are wrong things that are hurtful because they're hurting the first part why we deal with your heart is that if you don't deal with your heart they will be doing things that are normal and you will call them wrong but when your heart is thoroughly healed you'll be able to see more clearly okay this is just somebody struggling this is wrong but it's still because they are struggling all right then once you get the strength you can then go to number th three step which is where everybody wants to be we can now deal with some of the symptoms that we've been talking about uh, communication creating emotional safety creating physical safety uh, psychological safety uh, um, getting to know each other more listening better then connecting well and having total partnership where you share everything and then sharing in physical spiritual emotional intimacy those are the steps now we have to do them step by step and i want to share with you the first layer the heart today right so here so the first step if you want to change if you want to change your marriage first thing is to put on your own face mask, your own gas mask oxygen mask which is take care of your heart you may not know how hurt you are until you start doing some of the things that i tell you to do you may not know that you're so hurt your heart is broken you will not know that you have a hard heart let's look at scriptures so that you can see what i'm talking about matthew chapter 7 verse 12 matthew chapter 7 verse 12 Please read Matthew chapter 7 from verse 1 to 12 on your own time. Um, I read that last yesterday. So if you watched the video from yesterday, you will be blessed by it. But I want to focus on verse 12 right now. So if you see me looking away, I'm looking at the scriptures. It says, so whatever you wish that others will do to you, do also to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Now, if you're not healthy, your heart is not good, you wouldn't even know what you want others to do to you. So that's why we start with the heart. That's why we start with the heart. And uh, so what do we do with the heart? The first thing I ask you and I want you to focus on is from in its, on a scale of 1 to 10, what is your joy level, level generally, regardless of your marriage right now? How joyful are you? How peaceful are you? And even, of course, with your marriage, your marriage is part of your life. On a daily basis, for the last two, three weeks, one month, five months, what would you say your joy level is? If your joy level is anything below seven, we need some work to be done. Um, if it's really below five, we really need to focus on it. So if you are like three, four, you know, I'm not, most times I'm sad, I'm not happy. Even when I'm at work, I'm thinking about home and it doesn't, I'm just, I'm not happy. If um, at playing with my children and I, my, my spouse, the thought of him or her comes to my mind, I'm not happy. There's no joy anywhere. And uh, not only that, my brother is this, my uncle is doing that, my auntie is doing that, my job, my, my boss is doing this. If you look at your life and you notice that a good portion of it is not happy, then you need to work on joy makeover and in joy makeover what we do is help you discover and understand and accept that your joy is not a function of what people do outside you it is a function of a decision you've made based on your understanding of who god is and what god has done in your life the moment we deal with your heart you feel more comfortable you can see your partner better you can see your spouse better see your wife better see your husband better see their pain see that they are hurting right that's why we work with the heart and it's a beautiful place to start it's not the easy place to start it's not the uh fun place to start it's not the place that you intuitively start you intuitively start at the symptoms but but if you do that 
it will be, you you go over the problem you go you have the problem over and over again so continue to work hard on loving like jesus working on your heart allowing god to heal you so that you can be a blessing to those who are around you so right so until tomorrow uh continue to love like jesus and make mega impact god bless you